Call for change on Cherry Street in Tulsa. It's been less than two weeks now since a woman died from a hit and run accident there. New tonight, 2 News reporter Dan Perlman is live with what's being done to make that area more pedestrian friendly. Well, Karen, Joanne Carlson was walking home in this intersection when she was hit. Now her family and the people along Cherry Street hope what happened is not repeated. Things are going okay. Uh, families getting back to life is normal. We kind of have to move on. Joanne Carlson was hit on December 15th. She died one week later. She was important to a lot of people um, on Cherry Street. Her death caught the eye of business owners. We lost a, a very nice lady. And a city councilor. It's a black eye on what is one of the most exciting things happening in the city. Now, they all want to see something happen. I do believe that they need to have a little bit better of a, a crosswalk. It's got poorly marked crosswalks. I want to know that it's going to happen soon. Councilor Blake Ewing told me it will. You can count on me to be stubborn about it, that, that we've got to do a better job in our pedestrian friendly neighborhoods. First, he plans on looking to the city's budget. It's already on my agenda for early 2013 to see what we can do from a financial standpoint to get some money moved over. Down the road? The hope is that in the city's budget next year, or even quicker, we can get some money allocated towards uh, doing some things on Cherry Street. And then there's the Fix Our Streets renewal that could go to voters in the fall. My hope is that this tragic event uh, really does serve as a wake up call to people to, to respond. One family that will respond, the Carlsons. If an auto pedestrian accident happens, the pedestrian is the one who suffers the, uh, I mean, my grandmother died. Um, so it's important. Now, the person who hit Carlson has not been found. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.